Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we are requesting Allah with a dua that was requested by Prophet Yunus alayhi salam. So actually he was under the belly of the fish that is totally dark and even the fish was under the sea that is other darkness. So in the double darkness so he was not hopeless. He was hopeful and this way he requested Allah with this dua and Allah accepted his dua and he was saved from the trouble and he got relief and he was thankful to Allah. So this way this dua is a hope in the time of hopeless. So when we have no solution of any problem and uh, when we we try our best uh, from every way uh, to find the solution of the problem but there is darkness we can't find the solution and then we request Allah with this dua Allah will give us the best solution and the problem will be solved and we will feel relief and peace inshallah so this is possible so this way we have to request Allah with this dua when someone is ill and illness is so much unidentified by the doctors uh, and, uh, uh, and even if some illness which have no treatment and the person after having so many treatment is not becoming better so then we have to request Allah with this dua that uh, uh, illness will finish and the person, person will feel relief and better and become healthy. So this way, uh, any type of problem, any type of trouble, any type of solution, the um, trouble which has no solution, we have to request Allah with this dua. The solution will be solution will be found, and Allah's mercies and blessings will fall on us, and we will feel better and comfortable situation will be there and we will be um, inshallah thankful to Allah at that time because our trouble will finish, problems will finish, uh, illness will finish and we will feel better in every field of life wherever you find any difficulty or problem if find no solution then solution is with the help of this dua to request Allah Allah will fulfill the need and inshallah we feel easy good so we have to read this dua this dua is also in uh, holy quran surah al anbiya ayat number 87 and uh, you know, mostly the people they call it ayat karima also so we have to read this one la ilaha illa anta subhanaka Inni kuntu minad zalimin. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka. Inni kuntu minad zalimin. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka. Inni kuntu minad zalimin. So, la ilaha, there is no worthy of worship. Illa anta, but you, but you, Allah, you are worthy of worship. Subhanaka, purity, all purity to you. Inni, indeed, I, kunto mina zalimin, I am, I, I am among the wrongdoers, or I was among the wrongdoers. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka. Inni kuntu minaz zalimin. There is none worthy of worship but Allah. All purity to you, O Allah. Indeed, I was among the wrongdoers. When we request Allah with this dua, inshallah, solution will be there. Our hope will be fulfilled. And we should not be hopeless. Hope we should not be hopeless any time in our life. And we request Allah with this dua. Inshallah, we will be hopeful. Problem will be solved, and we will feel peace and happiness. Allah gave us tawfiq to 
request Allah with this dua, with heart and soul, with full concentration, in order to get the full benefit. Amen.